Hi everyone, so today we have another haul. I'm sorry that I filmed a few of these. Um, we bought some stuff off eBay and because I didn't know when we would be thrifting again, and flea marketing again, we kind of just took advantage of those dolls and filmed videos on them. But uh, from here on out, we'll try to only film them if there's like something substantial. Now, this was our very first flea market haul of this year, and we also are getting something in the mail tomorrow that we unintentionally found online, so we're going to throw that in. Obviously, with everything going on, there's different regulations, like you have to wear face coverings, and there's like, you know, social distancing measures, <coughs> and part of why we decided to go is because I'm afraid that if I like stay inside all the time, I'm going to become a full-blown agoraphobic because I've struggled with that before, like not wanting to leave the house even as a little kid, and I'd have like meltdowns and stuff, so for me, keeping that routine of like going once a week, just like grocery shopping once a week, it, it keeps me sane, like because if I stop going out, my anxiety will completely take over again, and as it is, like I was shaking in the car, and it's not because like I'm afraid of getting sick, it's more just like the atmosphere when you go out and people are scared to be there and everyone's like, ooh, hands off. It's it's more that and like the rules and stuff that worry me because like I'm anxious about everything. So getting gas <laughs> has been hard for me for that reason. So this was kind of like, sometimes you have to push through that if you want to, I guess, live. <laughs> and I'm trying to get used to wearing the face mask out because um, I hate wearing it, but I might be able to go to work back to work this summer and um, I don't like having my face covered because it clouds my glasses and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I sound like Hermit the Frog all the time because I can't breathe through my nose. So wearing the mask makes it really hard to breathe. It was good for both of us. I, th I think it came closer to my actual expectations than Shelly's deepest fears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt like the vibe was pretty good um, because people were there who wanted to be there and I mean it was actually really laid back. The people weren't really following the rules. I know not everyone agrees with like how often people go out and stuff but I think that your mental health is just as important and sometimes you have to keep some sort of routine or do something just to keep sane. I just wanted to say like say this because I know that there are people who watch my videos who have similar issues and you know sharing my experience can make people feel less alone and you know don't feel guilty if you need to get out and do something for your own sanity and for your own peace of mind. So we did have a decent luck. We saw quite a few dolls today but the problem was that sometimes like they only sell them in lots and they're not very ideal. Like there was a big bag of dolls for $5, but they were all pretty much naked and there were a few in there that I really liked, like some Monster High, but they're missing limbs and then the other dolls were either duplicates or generic modern Barbies, so we passed on that. We don't buy every doll we see by any means. No, we, we saw a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but um, ironically, I actually had the lion's share of the luck today. Yeah, so I'll show what I got first, I guess, because it, it was kind of an accident. So I already have this Spring Unsprung Briar. And I actually bought her from the same sellers a few years ago. And when I saw her on the table, it was like I recognized her face and hair, but she's a lot less nice than my other doll. My other doll has like her tights and her shoes and her crown. And I was sure that she was spring unsprung, but something about her outfit was throwing me off. And I think part of it was nerves. Like, I, uh, we didn't, we don't usually linger too much in the flea market, but I felt more like pressured to make a quick decision. So I was like kind of in this weird mental haze. Like, oh, better to grab her in case she's an all I don't have. Because I didn't want to have to double that. back. So Colleen was like, no, you don't have her. <laughs> never listen to me. And I was like, no, but the face and the hair, I'm, I'm sure. So I bought a duplicate. She was $3, but that's okay. Um, she wasn't happy about my rant in the car about how uh, I knew I had her and I shouldn't have bought her, but. We're gonna do good things with her. Uh, the two regular sellers that I was most worried about whether or not they'd be there actually were there. And one of the sellers is uh, the boxed lady that we uh, got some of our like uh, vintage like repros from we last year. Milo. Milo, that's I right. I see him all the time in our skits. Milo is from her. Yes, a long time ago. Uh, more recently, we got vintage repros, but they actually had two. Babysitters Inc. Skippers. And Hi. I'm like so excited because. Um, when these first hit stores, because they were there and they were available, they were more appealing to me in the moment than the new Harry Potter dolls, which at the time you couldn't buy in Walmart, and the Be Forever Molly that was like super expensive and unobtainable, but um, 
Those other things ended up overtaking more of my brain space later when I had access to them. So I kind of, these have been on my back burner, but they've never been fully out of my mind. Like I always look for them in Walmart. Um, I love the Babysitter's Inc. So I decided to name, Shelly suggested we name this one, Marisol. And this one, Callie. We've been watching a lot of CSI Miami while we've been stuck at home. I really like this one's unicorn shirt, but she had the prettier face. Yeah, and they were um, $6 each, which usually these retail for like 10 to 15 depending on where you go. So it's basically like getting them on a clearance at the store. Yeah, the best find of the day. And I was like literally just thinking about how much I wanted this doll just like two days ago. I was going through my skipper clothes. It's 2000 fashion party skipper. Um, I am like so excited. Like I was just going through uh, my bags of clothes and I have like a pair of her pants and I have her halter dress and Shelly's pretty sure we have the bag. I was like, oh man, I really want this doll. Oh, she'd be so cool. I really hope I find her. I never actually thought I'd find her like three days later. We found her a full long time ago. I, well, we did. We saw um, the seller we used to call Dollar Lady had her a very, very long time ago and I forget I think she was three dollars and her hair was ragged and she didn't have any of her clothes. I think that was 2011. I think dad was alive. Yeah, we were a lot pickier back then. Here. Yeah, we um, would just buy whatever. Now I would, honestly, I would have been equally happy to buy her well, without her clothes and I was, in that shape. I was the one who was more into the tall skippers at the time. Yeah, I, I went through this phase of snobbery. Like, these were the skippers I had access to when I first started collecting. Um, but I got to this period of like ultimate snobbery after I got like my box teen time Courtney and my box teen fun skipper. I like thought, oh, well if I, I was one of those people that was like, well, I'm only going to collect the best now. <laughs> um, but these are the dolls that like, these were available when I started collecting skipper. I didn't, I don't remember seeing her. She's my favorite find of the day because I've just been looking for her for so long. So. The thing we got from Mercari was this set of Kid Core dolls, the Winter Wonderland Sisters at Home. This was not an intentional purchase in that like we were seeking out to buy Kid Core dolls. I was actually I was. Well, you were, but you always are. Um, we've been going through all of our doll clothes in storage, and we have a very large collection of Kid Core stuff from when we were kids. And over the years, I've been trying to hunt for pictures of those dolls and also save pictures of other kid core dolls that we didn't have in case we find stuff that goes to them. Um, they're clones, so they don't always have like special names or box dates. And when I was on Mercari looking to see what they had listed for kid core dolls for research purposes, this happened. <laughs> so we actually had a set like this as kids, but um, it was a different version. So these are kind of like the holiday sisters for Barbie, like the imitation. Uh, but sadly, we don't have any of the dolls. We got rid of a lot of our kid core dolls. I can't remember exactly when I got rid of my Kelsey's. I think I might have still been a kid, but I know the Katie's got weeded out when we first dabbled into collecting. I had a lot of them. Their hair was like a moldy color and stuff. And I really have, I mean, there's some that I probably would never miss, but there's others that I really regret getting rid of. And one of the ones I kind of get rid of is, regret getting rid of is, uh, the sisters at home Katie I had because, um, she was actually our second Katie doll. So yeah, um, we decided to get this set, which is actually cooler than the one we had. Um, yeah, I think they almost look like Swedish or something. I, they remind me of like Laura Ingalls Wilder. Like, yes, what exactly. She wear. See, this doesn't have a box date. And um, Kid Connection is actually the same thing as Kid Core. You'll see, like, on the boxes, it'll say, oh, uh, you know, all rights reserved Kid Core. This set was $13 on Mercari with $6 shipping, but originally the seller wanted $50. For this set and I just want to say Kid Core dolls are nice quality for what they retailed for but they're not like $50 worth of quality so if you're new to these dolls and you don't know much about like flat ironing I don't think that these dolls are worth tons of money quality wise the bodies aren't very nice and they have cheap hair but the clothes are nice the clothes are good and it even comes with this cute dog so yeah we're gonna open them and calling skipper dolls Ah, uh, kid core packaging. I remember this. Now, these dolls were are so old, and they can't. I'm guessing these are from the nine, late '90s, early 2000s, because our set we bought, I think, in 2001, and it's very similar. Like the dolls have the same facial screenings, pretty much. Usually, what I relate a kid core doll smelling like when you get them brand new out of the box is like 
french fries. Yes. Like McDonald's french fries. And this is how they always looked with all of these um, wire ties. And these are really flexible, like really flexible. They're thinner than the kind Mattel used to use. Her tights are this green tint. Ooh, fancy. So we still have our childhood dog from the similar set, but he is all white. This guy has gray, which is really cool. And for some reason, we named um, him Larden. I don't know. Where no that. idea why we named him Larden. And it, like, we used to They're be like a, a greenish yeah, black. It used to be this thing where, like, in the kid core world, when we were playing with just clones. All of the Kid Core dolls were like Kelsey and Katie and Jody, and they didn't like have variants on their first names, just their last names would be like Corez and <laughs> Cora. So funny. And their dogs would all be like Larden and then Lardina. We thought we were so clever. Oh, I love him, he's so cool. Oh my god, Kelsey's having a baby. She's so cute. I'm pretty excited. I remember um, feeling sad when we had that yard sale a million years ago and she was old. Do you want to rebuy your geranium? Mm, no, this looks cooler. I mean, I'd be happy. To, I, I'd be happy to have my replacement, but Jody. she's fancy now. If I remember right, yeah, her knees like wicked bend. They have really cool bend and snap legs. They really bend. It was actually because of Kelsey that we realized our Barbies could do that too. Oh yeah. I forgot. We, we, never, just we didn't understand the end. We didn't know bend and snap knees actually bend and snap. Now this is cool. We have um, like the same thing, but it's on a blue ribbon, and the I want to say the gingerbread says blue dots, but um, yeah, we ooh, it's sticky because it was in that bubble packaging. This is probably going to need to soak in some oxyclean. So yeah, if you have accessories, like do you see how these are sticking because they're starting to decay. <laughs> it shook your hand behind like the blister pack for so long. You can soak them in a little bit of oxyclean. This is my my childhood Kelsey geranium because there was this woman my mom was friends with. <laughs> her name was Urania, but I thought it was Geranium, like the flower, and I thought it was a really exotic name, so her name's gonna be Geranium, like my child. And just to show you kind of like the detail of the kid core clothes off the dolls, so Jody has this really cute fabric headband, and for fakey Velcro, it's actually pretty thick. And then you can see Katie even has uh, separate tights, and you can see all the different layers the little these are like actual buttons that are sewn on kid core clothes had great detail even for their day that was one of the reasons why we loved buying them because their stuff was just so cute and detailed it was very whimsical and then we have uh, kelsey's dress the apron is separate you can take the gingerbread out they even all came with these like little panties i used to have so many of these because all my kelsey's had them the shoes are kind of the biggest giveaway clone shoes will have punch holes on the bottom and um interesting note about kelsey is that she's a little bit smaller than barbie um so like barbie will have trouble fitting in some of her tops like i remember I used to try to put it my uh, childhood dress from a similar set on my favorite jasmine doll and she was a little bit too bosomy for it and likewise these shoes are a hair bit a hair smaller than barbie's so that's just something to note like if you like kid core clothes um a lot of Kelsey's stuff can't be can't fit Barbie very well. Um, and Jody is quite a bit bigger than Kelly, but her stuff is great for Mattel kids like the Hart family, teacher kids. Um, what was the name of that line? Like the Rosebud series or something? Oh yeah, yeah. The dolls yeah. with that mold that started with that mold. And uh, Katie is quite a bit smaller than Stacy. She's, She's a lot very... thinner than Stacy. She fits the uh, clothes from like the articulated Stacys and the newer better. ones that are very skinny. Yeah. So yeah, that's also a point of I don't think how do um Stacy's fit Katie's clothes? Um, I mean I have put some in them, but I feel like again they share better with the articulated ones. Yeah, so that's just something to keep in mind if like you're like, oh And those shoes don't even yeah. cost I I like uh, I like the look of kid core clothes. I want them for <coughs> my Barbies. They might not fit all the time. So we're washing the dolls' clothes. We also have this old skirt um that I've had for years that when we were going through the baggies, we noticed it had stains. 
that's not fresh mold, that's actually just sane. So we're gonna put some OxyClean in that. Colleen's taking out Skipper's pony beads. Some of them came right out once I moved the elastic, but some are like really braided into her hair. Yep, and uh, Anne is just hanging out because I'm going to, I fixed her head and I'm gonna wash her and stuff. And then probably while I'm flat ironing Jody's hair, I'll uh, crimp hers. So we decided to include some cleaning clips in this video just to make it a little bit more interesting. I didn't really feel like filming a specific transformation video on these dolls because they didn't need a lot of work and I feel like the past few that I've uploaded that were smaller not as many people were interested in watching because you know let's be honest we've had some really big uh, advanced hauls this year and I feel like people kind of got a little spoiled and weren't as interested in the simpler ones but that's okay. So we're just doing what we normally do washing with baking soda, dish soap, washing their hair, conditioning, and detangling. Okay, so Skipper had all of these really tiny braids, and if you're not careful with how you unbraid things, you can cause a lot of split ends, and I can tell that Skipper's hair is in really nice condition because there's not a lot of split ends coming out of these braids. They look really shiny. So instead of like taking a brush and have adding it, you can take a rat tail comb and just take the tip and then you just kind of gently go up every few little like, see this one's a little knotted, every few little loops and you just kind of drag it down. You see it just, it does it really smoothly. Here I am making Briar a headband. I decided to kind of go out and make her special accessories because she was missing so much. So I even made her earrings, although she still had her factory ones. I didn't film that. Here I'm taking some wire that I use for waist pieces as stands and I'm gluing some ribbon around it that I got from somewhere. I don't know, I have like all these ribbon scraps that I salvage from bags and things. I use a lot of recycled materials. And then the little flowers I'm gonna glue on in sequins were things that I bought specially um, a long time ago for making hair accessories. I actually need to restock these because I love these little fabric roses. They're some of my favorite things. And um, I do have videos on how I make earrings and hair accessories. I'll put them in the iCards if you're interested. But it was a lot easier using this wire than the kind I've used in the past. So everyone is cleaned and dressed back up. So we have the two babysitter ink skippers and they did get uh, boil washes but their hair was already nice. Beautiful Saran. What are your thoughts on Callie and Medisol? I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I really like them and I think their outfits are really cool and colorful. I definitely want to get more of these dolls. But I'm really grateful I found them. I think for what they retailed for, they're pretty nice quality. They don't sit the best because they have the hollow limbs, but and like um, one um one like weird arm and one yeah, I don't like the bent arms to be honest, but I uh, I think that like their hair quality and their clothing quality is really nice. They're cute. And they did come with like extra accessories, which like a fashionistas wouldn't mm. come with. And then we have the beautiful uh, Winter Wonderland Sisters at Home set. So we have Kelsey, who, like I mentioned earlier, I'm naming her Geranium in honor of my childhood doll, and. Um, we did like wash and boil wash their hair, but I didn't comb through it. But I did comb through her little tendrils in the front and gel them just because they were kind of wild even in the package. And then we have Katie over here who Colleen wants to name Orchid. Orchid. And then Jody actually got a flat iron treatment because um, kid core dolls, and I know this from experience, their hair when you comb it even if it looks nice in the package and you take really good care of it it will like frizz up like this unbelievable gross frizz and even if you cut it off it will come back so i found that flat ironing is the only thing that kind of prevents that from happening so yeah, she's cute and we decided to name her poinsettia and i mean all like jody kelsey and katie's for the most part have like the same facial screenings but they're gorgeous. Are you really happy to have a set? I'm really happy to have a set. I think they're really cute. I especially like how Jody's outfit is gingerbread themed. I know. She has the coolest outfit. But these are really nice outfits. Yeah, too. they are. They're really cool. And then, of course, we have Fashion Party Skipper, which, as you can see, I crimped part of her hair. I crimped, like, around the perimeter. Um, because even after two boil washes, those braids in her hair left crimpy marks, which it's a good way to put crimps back in the hair if you, uh, don't have a crimping iron you can achieve a similar look it won't look as defined as this but 
yeah, I did that just to kind of mask it, um, especially because she did have a few split pieces up at the top, so the um, heat protectant I use really makes the hair look extra shiny. But she's really pretty, and I did have to sew um, parts of her outfit, but we already had these pieces in storage. The pants she was wearing, we swapped out because they were more picked at. So what are your thoughts? Let's get her. I absolutely love her. I think she's gorgeous. Um, I'm really excited to finally have her. I've wanted her for about 20 years, so it's really exciting. Oh, and yes, yeah, whoever owned her before made this, like, necklace for her. I think the baby thing came from a Spice Girl doll, and they just put different string around it so it could go on Skipper. And then we have my duplicated briars. So you saw me making her headband in the previous clip. So I actually decided to just use wire like I used to make stands um, because it's really flexible and thick and I happen to have some. And I think it worked out really well. And I also made her these earrings which I kept a little bit smaller than what I normally would go for because she already has the headband. And Colleen put these first edition um, apple apple tights that we had in storage. They were spares. Uh, and she was um, doing some booty shots that just aren't appropriate for the nature of this channel. So I thought it was best if she had something to cover underneath. And this is her hair, which came out really nice. I did boil wash her twice because after the first boil wash, I noticed the underneath portion of her hair was still a little like icky. So I did her in Skipper um, the next day, which is why this wasn't up immediately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be pictures of these dolls on my Flickr um, at some point, if not, you know, already by the time some of you watch the video. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.